how people look doesn't matter to me at all. Yeah. I don't care whether they're fat or thin or how they dress and so on and so on, which gives you a wholly new perspective on life, isn't it? It makes you look at life very, very differently. Blind Constitutional Court Judge Justice Zach Yaku, who was appointed to the bench by Nelson Mandela in 1998, is retiring this year. Justice Yakub speaks to the Mail and Guardian about his retirement, shares his views on the state of corruption in South Africa and the Constitution's effect on civil society. I actually think that civil society has weakened. Part of the reason for that is that, uh, that many people who were crucial to civil society and civil society work have gone to the government. Some of them, like me, have gone to the bench, which makes things a bit difficult. Also, the other reason is that um, there is a kind of thinking that our constitution brought about our democracy. And therefore, people say, well, they can take it easy and do things themselves and so on. My own view is that our constitution simply created the conditions for bringing about our democracy and made it possible for us to work harder at it. And I consider my job here in this court and my job even after I finish here is making my contribution on the injunction of the Constitution to do all I can to achieve the constitutional project. We all have the duty to, in the future, make the Constitution real. must not make the mistake of thinking because we have no equality at the moment. Um, People don't have housing at the moment. The, the problems of poverty and misery abound like nothing on earth. Our education system is in a mess. So to think that our constitution has by itself brought about a true democracy, I think, is, is to be naive in the extreme. Uh, I think that more cases on behalf of poor people who suffer Precisely because government is not fulfilling its obligations should be brought to the court. One of the most important challenges the court has is how to balance customary law with uh, the constitution. There was that case about uh, the community who appointed the woman chief and the men objected, saying they should have been appointed. The high court said, no, the woman she should not have been appointed. The Supreme Court of Appeal confirmed it. And we said that, uh, that customary law is changing law. And the community decides they want to appoint a woman, so be it. Male primogenitor should go away completely. The idea of, of the eldest male heir being the absolute boss of the rest has got to go. I can say that it is absolutely impossible to begin to understand and begin to explain why Mandisa Maya was not considered for the appointment. I have nothing against Ray Zondo, of course, but in the context of the way things were and in the context of the need for women here, although Ray is a good appointment, Judge Zondo is a good appointment, I still find it impossible to comprehend why? But that's a decision for the president to make, and I suppose he understands it. I think that there's too much corruption in this country. Unless that changes, we will never, ever get it to be a good democracy for so long as corruption continues at the level that it is continuing now. I've been preparing for this retirement for years and years. I'm, I'm looking forward to my new life. Many people would say that independence of a judge means isolation. Mm -hmm. It's not. So I would talk to lots of people, get ideas from lots of people. I am an important part of my community. I, I interact with them and so on and so on. And I, I learn a great deal from that interaction. I think the worst thing that can happen to a judge is if a judge thinks that he or she knows it all and nobody can teach them anything. Else.